let's move forward from this. And Sydney, can you tell me about how we actually pay for these trips? So like the main thing of all the trips has to be about the money. And all of it gets pretty expensive, all the fun activities you're gonna do. Um, and there are a number of ways to earn money for your trip. So again, your troop needs to come to a financial agreement as you earn and save money for your travel adventure. And there are a multitude of ways where you can earn money. So the first thing you can do is uh, your family, your friends, and ask if they wanna contribute any to your money earning journey. Um, secondly, every single one of us has probably done cookie sales at some point. It's like uh, absolute, so that is an awesome way to get started on your fundraising. And a lot of us have done fall product sales as well, which are a good supplement to what you've done uh, with your cookie sale money earning. Uh, a multitude of organizations and even councils will provide financial aid. Uh, you just need to do research on your own, in your area, what you guys uh, qualify for. And in addition, you can do a bunch of other money earning activities that aren't related to any of these things, such as events or um, like a craft sale. Have you done anything, Ella? Um, it's um, just like some special money earning activities. A few things. Our troop actually runs a local day camp uh, for everybody in our Girl Scout neighborhood. So that's pretty awesome. It's totally girl plans and girl led. And uh, me and a couple of other troops, we totally volunteer and run it and plan it months in advance. So that's really fun. And we actually mm -hmm. did it virtually this year. So you really just have to get creative because you can totally take things virtual. And I know that there's another slide that has like such great information about this. So let's get there. Yeah. That way Sydney can tell us more. Okay, perfect. There we are. All right. So yeah, yard work, dinners, badge workshops, selling crafts that you make, um, badge workshops online. Actually, now that I think about it, my troop has done a, da a daisy badge workshop before COVID. Um, so it wasn't virtual, but there are so many opportunities virtually now that you can just, even within your service unit, put out a thing saying, hey, we want to do this badge for daisies or brownies and then do it. And the troop leaders appreciate it. So you're not only money earning, you're also helping out another troop. So there are a couple guidelines when it comes to money earning in your council and overall. You cannot uh, do anything with any other products, uh, companies, or any sort of endorsement. So like Tupperware parties, no. Any other product for any other company, no. And that's just the way it has to be because Girl Scouts is an organization and we have our own brand that we need to uphold. And we unfortunately just can't uh, do that. Another thing is we we'll can't do any products. sort of... I was just gonna <laughs> say, we have our own products, right? So when we wanna sell a yeah. product, our Girl Scout cookies and our beautiful fall products, that's what we need to do. But yeah, otherwise... And you know, you guys can make your own crafts like at home or as a troop, like with your own supplies, you can do that. So in my opinion, that's even more fun because you're doing an activity as well. And unfortunately, you also can't do any games of chance such as bingo or raffles because it's just not good. Yeah, it's not very Girl Scouty. Um, it's just yeah. not very Girl Scouty. But like we already said, I mean, just get creative. If you and your troop really like a badge, just work on a workshop for it and then hold a virtual Zoom and do it with a ton of daisies or brownies or something like that. Um, there's a d ton of different things that you can do to earn money for your trip and you have time, which is really great because time is your best friend when it comes to raising. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what I'm fighting against now. You know, less than a year to go, but you guys have years, so. Ah, okay, this beautiful, beautiful guide, I have it printed out in front of me. You're gonna want to print two copies of this, uh, so you can create a planning map for your regional or your national trip, and you can also do a planning map for your world center trip uh, that you wanna do with your troop. So, once again, <laughs> I have them all printed. I'm very excited about this one because I did not do this with my troop when we were planning and this would have been super helpful. So as you can see on this beautiful map, there are a couple of different areas. There's Paperwork Meadow, Planning Forest, uh, Preparation Canyon, and the Finance Lake. And a really big point is that if you notice, you can kind of jump around from one area to another because when you're actually planning a trip, it's not like you do all the preparation at once and then you do all the paperwork and then you do all of um, the decisions, you know, you kind of have to jump back and forth. And as you 
uh, I'm sure Sydney, you absolutely know this because you've been planning a trip, but as you do more research, you encounter new problems and new things that you need to get, you know, paperwork for, things like that, and new exciting opportunities. So um, we want you to fill this out with your troop when you meet next. I've already done a couple, but uh, Sydney, what kind of things would you think that uh, you would want to fill in based off what's not okay. already? So what I can see just from looking at the graphic, Preparation Canyon. When you're going to another country, they most times have a different currency that you're going to need to prepare for. Sometimes, whether it's a short trip or not, you're going to need a visa, and your parents will know a little bit more about that. Um, yeah. yeah. For sure. Uh, when I, when I, like, Go oh, ahead. I'm sorry. Card, right? We had to, or some of us opened up a credit card, and then some of us just exchanged money. So, like in uh, Britain, they use pounds instead of dollars. So. I mean, we thought we were going to go, so some of us exchanged the money, but anyway. Mm -hmm. moved yeah, another and <laughs> it's also to be aware, like in Europe, they prefer cash in a lot of, of Central Europe. And in addition, like just go out, going out to a restaurant can be so different in another country than it is in the United States. Um, another thing is the streets of decision. Like, okay, you narrow it down to a country, but a country can be pretty big. So where are you going to go exactly? And where in the city even are you going to go? Like what activities are you gonna do? So there are really so many decisions, uh, so much paperwork, uh, lots of preparation. And then even when you're back home again, there's so much stuff to do and fill out. But the good thing is it's all fun, you know, except for maybe paperwork. But other than that, it's all yeah. fun. Your parents get to do some of the paperwork, so that makes it a bit easier. Um, also on street to decision, and this is a big thing if you're planning to go international, our troop, we had a little friendly battle between whether or not we'd go to a country that spoke English because half of us uh, were studying uh, Spanish in school, like I'm studying Spanish. So I was like, let's let's do Spain and this will be really fun and I can actually practice speaking it. And then the other kids that, or the other girls that took French were like, no, we're, we're gonna go to Paris and we're gonna practice speaking. Um, but then we all also wanted, we're like, English is easier. And so therefore Edinburgh, and London where English is spoken and we can all communicate with the people there. That's an important decision to make as well. And I mean, yep, you need the, to be aware of it. Yes, at the end of all of this, you can see in the bottom right corner, the road to your next adventure because there is always the next trip you can do. And even while you're planning this one, you can start planning a different trip you wanna do maybe later and start setting aside uh, time towards that.